lawmakers are back home preparing for the next legislative session. A special task force was created to come up with solutions to provide access to quality health care in rural communities. There's only so much time before lawmakers return to the Capitol. So how effective has this task force been? Our Capitol correspondent Chris Rosado is here with us tonight. Chris. Yeah, Liz, Greg, on this board are several nurses and health care ex executives, and their goal is to have a bill drafted up for lawmakers to debate before session starts in March. There's no denying Louisiana's health care in general needs improvement, but in rural communities, the problem is a lot more serious. The inequities we see and being 50th in the country, we all own it. Recognizing the problem after decades of neglect, the legislature unanimously agreed a task force was needed with nurses and hospital executives, a sort of meeting of the minds, if you will, with hand-picked medical experts. Those impacted the most in rural areas are the elderly, people living in poverty, and the black community. The lack of broadband internet restricts doctors from providing telemedicine services and prevents them from creating a health information exchange between physicians, hospitals, and clinics. You know, let's say you live in the middle of a rural area and you go see your primary care physician there, but you're admitted to a hospital that's maybe 60 miles away. The folks in that hospital need to know your patient history and your background in order to provide the best care possible. So we really need to figure out how to connect all of those folks. Especially for our marginalized populations. They are the populations who are most affected by by the health care disparities or, or environmental disparities. One of the suggestions mentioned this afternoon to help connect these institutions with one another over your health data was making all of your medical records accessible through LA Wallet, but that idea fell flat. Not only do you have some HIPAA issues there, uh, but the data is so different depending on which electronic medical record it's coming from, where it's coming from, i.e. a physician's office, a pharmacy, a lab. Um, I really don't think there's an easy way to do that. It's a very robust issue. Money for broadband internet has already been set aside in the state budget, but the big question is how many people will actually be covered? The task force plans to have a bill drafted up with solutions for the legislature to debate by February of next year. Now the group plans to have their next meeting sometime in October. Guys, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. Efforts are being made to make